Hello, I'm Paul Bannon and this series is Quick Tuts, a series for game artists um, and people of that nature who want to learn some quick, who want some quick tips. Um, the first uh, tip I'm going to be giving is how to make things like ropes, um, pipes, tubes, wires um, that you can create in your preferred mowing package and then take into ZBrush to create an insert multi mesh brush. So we'll start off with in your mowing package, I'm using Maya here. Um, I'm going to create a corrugated tube, uh, like a sci fi tube that you see in a lot of sci fi uh, games. Um, as you can see, I split my tube up into three parts. There's a start section, an end section, and a, the middle section is going to be uh, duplicated lots and lots to create the actual tubing itself. Um, it's really important you have three separate parts like this uh, for ZBrush into multi mesh brushes. So now I'm just exporting um, each part separately. I've just called it one, two, and three onto my desktop. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Okay, in ZBrush, I'm basically importing each piece separately. Um, be careful you don't overwrite your previously imported piece in ZBrush. Um, duplicate the piece first and then import. Duplicate the piece and import to get all three pieces, as you can see here. Um, you've got three separate subtools. Um, next, turn on Polyframe on the right hand side menu um, just so you can see. That each piece is a different color. Um, to change the color, you basically press Control W with the piece selected. Um, just make sure that each, all three pieces are different colors, and then you can move on to merging them, merging them together. Uh, in the subtool menu, there's, there's a merge button. Just quickly press Merge Down, making sure that it's one unique piece at the end, and that each section is a different color, as you can see here. Now you basically create insert multi mesh uh, with the piece selected inside the brush settings. Click on that and click new, and that will make a new brush with the currently selected subtool. Um, if you quickly drag that subtool out now with that brush selected in your menu, it will just create a, a duplicate of the original piece, which is not what you want. So move into the stroke settings at the top, click on curve and just make sure it's quick turned on and then you can quickly drag out a curve with the desert, uh, with the desired results that you're looking for. In the one I've known here, as you can see little errors, little gaps in the actual mesh. Um, to fix that, you basically go into the brush um, settings down to modify uh, and then you can basically click on weld points and then click on the wire again and that will update the current um, insert multi mesh. Uh, also the curve quality up to about 5 or 6 just so that it's a, a lot smoother uh, and just like cleans up your errors and your mesh basically and that's basically it. You Now you can just save your insert multi mesh whatever you want and use it in future projects over and over again. Um, thanks for watching, see you soon.